Hey, take a look at shares of Hertz. They're up more than, well, they were up more than 20% a little bit earlier. and Now they are once again, and they're up more than 100% in the past few weeks as that company looks to be nearing its exit from bankruptcy, a process that has locked some big-name private equity firms in a battle over the company's future. On one side, Knighthead Capital and Sertari's Capital Management, whose bid is backed by Apollo, versus Centerbridge Partners, who's teamed with Warburg, Pincus, and Dundon Capital, each side already submitting their bids. And last night, the Hertz board deemed Knighthead superior, its bid valuing Hertz at more than $6 billion. New at noon, I'm told most shareholders, and there are some big names there, too, as part of a 10-member ad hoc group, Glenview Capital, run by Larry Robbins, being the largest with more than 4.5 million shares, favor the Knighthead bid as well. Oak Tree, co-founded by Howard Marks, would backstop a portion of the new equity financing. Bondholders want the Centerbridge one, well, because they would walk away with most of the equity. Centerbridge has until Friday to alert the board of its plan to submit a new bid. And assuming that happens, Hertz plans to hold an auction on May 10th, which is next Monday. No matter what happens, a bankruptcy judge has to approve whoever emerges as the winner. And it all comes as Hertz tries to get back in action to take advantage of what? Well, the economy reopening. We look at Avis. It's currently valued at $6 billion. It has a lot of debt, though. Hertz would emerge debt-free, making for a pretty interesting battle between the two for post-pandemic travelers and investors. And if you recall, Carl Icahn was once a big player in Hertz. He exited about a year ago. So the stock, Jim, is up today on the, the Knighthead bid, which is deemed to be better by the board. I'm just... the. The battle is less interesting to me than what would it mean for potential investors in the right. stock moving forward in a post-pandemic world with Hertz back as a player. Well, I think the biggest problem that Hertz is going to have uh, is fl the fleet cars. None of the uh, none of the car companies are ready to sell them cars. They don't have any. And I think that one of the things that is making the gross margin so great for the auto companies is they're not selling to Hertz. So I don't know. Maybe Hertz can go to auto auctions. I, those are pretty sold out, too. I don't know where they're going to get the cars. And that's my worry. Steph, you know that there are not cars to be had. So if you were to become uh, you run to run Hertz, your single most difficult problem is to get enough cars to handle the demand. And not, th not to mention the fact that it's just going to be a very competitive environment, you know, with Always. Avis, right? I mean, that's the other thing. I mean, I, I, ca I can't see that this is going to end pretty at all, at all. But it's, it's certainly an interesting story. It's a very interesting development. Yeah, a lot of smart people involved. No, no, nobody would be, be yeah. interested because, look, I, you know, I've been talking with some potential investors today who think that this stock has a very bright future ahead if Knighthead ends up as, as the winner in the, the auction process, which looks likely to, to happen, that a th less than $4 stock has a much brighter future than that. I don't, I don't have any takers. Farmer Jim, Joe T.? Nope. Listen, I just got to say, I haven't done the analysis on it, but usually when you're talking about bankruptcy, you're talking about bondholders getting less than 100 cents on the dollar. So I'm not used to this process being one where there's residual value to the equity holders. Now, again, I haven't I haven't analyzed what the offers are, but that's just what history tells me. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see what all happens. Just wanted to bring you the latest there. All right. No, that's straight. great. But no one's talking about it. I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah, well, because we noticed the stock. Right. The stock was surging. The stock is up, Jim. And wasn't this like this was a meme stock before meme stocks meme were stock. meme stocks? I was just looking at, at uh, Reddit Wall Street bets. But I, I think it's largely they, they seem to focus a lot on GameStop. Yeah. This was the pre GameStop <laughs> GameStop, I think. Yeah. If, if we recall that, there was a period of time where we were looking at this, say, what's what's going on with this thing being bet up? And obviously it's being bet up again because it's up better than 100 percent in the last few weeks alone. Oh. So we just wanted to call your attention to it.